Hey, this is Jim Alfredson. I'm here with uh, Echoes of Pink Floyd, which is a Pink Floyd tri tribute band based in the Michigan area. And I wanted to show my rig. Uh, we'll start here. We've got the Hammond XK5 that is running into a Leslie 3300. Right over here. And then uh, on top of the XK2, I just added this today because it just came in the mail today. This is a Dave Smith Pro 2. I really don't know how I'm going to integrate it into the rig, but it looks so cool. Why not add it? Over here, uh, on top of the organ, we have a radial key Largo, which is mixing uh, the other three keyboards into a uh, balanced output for the front of house and a balanced output for my monitors. And then around here, we've got the heart and soul of the rig, which is the Kurzweil Forte 7. Um, I could actually do the entire rig on, uh, or the entire gig just on this keyboard if I wanted to. Um, it does all my splits and layers, it does 90% of the sounds, I would say, and it's a pretty, pretty awesome board. On the top we have a Prophet 12, which I started bringing just as a backup in case uh, that something happened with the Kurzweil. It's never happened, but just in case something would happen, that's my backup. So I really only have two sounds programmed in it. I have a lead sound for any color you like, and then I've got uh, your classic ARP strings programmed in there just in case, like I said, something goes down with the Kurzweil. But the Kurzweil is is the, the centerpiece of the rig. Down below I've got a sustain pedal for the Kurzweil, a, uh, the Hammond pedal is used for mostly wah-wah on some of the electric pianos, uh, overall volume pedal. Um, switch for the Leslie, and then there's a volume pedal for the organ as well underneath the organ. And then I'm running into, uh, the synths are running into a pair of Yamaha DXR monitors that are on either side. There's one under the organ and one on the opposite side. And I do have those running into a sub as well because some of the sound effects that we do are very low and I'm triggering a lot of the sound effects from the Kurzweil. So there's a couple things. Um, that I wanted to demonstrate on how flexible the Kurzweil is. Uh, one of the classic tunes off of Wish You Were Here, Have a Cigar. Um, these are set up all in multis. So I have the keyboard split. I've got uh, the main Wurlitzer sound right here. And then uh, up in here we got the strings. And one of the key parts of, the, of that tune is the lead synth line, which I believe was an EMS synthy, and they multi-tracked it and had it in thirds. Um, but it's a monophonic synth, and so one of the cool things of it is you get that cool portamento sound. Right? Uh, but there's a third to it, there's a, there's a harmony. Um, and so one thing you could do is you could make it not monophonic, make a polyphonic and play it in thirds. You know, like that. Um, but then you're not going to get the, the portamento, you're not going to get that glide from note to note. And so what I decided to do instead is take the same sound and put it in different octaves. Right? And then actually play the harmony rather than playing it in thirds, play it in sixth. So we go like... And what I, what I figured out today is that because of the, where the split point is, I can actually to get the full portamento, I can actually hold. Uh, that's the split point right there. So if I hold, if I hold that down and just, I actually get a really cool uh, portamento effect. It's like both of them do the portamento, which is what you want. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then there's a sample at the end for the for the very end of the, um, the tune, which is from the record, of course. And we just play that out at the end of the tune. So it's really cool because you can load in, of course, all your own samples and trigger them any way you want. Another good example would be time. And down at the bottom, I've got the sample from the record with all the clocks, which gets real loud, right? What's cool is I can just press and hold it. 
hold down my sustain pedal. Turn it down a bit because it's loud. I hold down my sustain pedal and it just stays keep playing. And once we get to the TikToks, the sample automatically loops and then it just stays on these TikToks. And then whenever we're ready, we can cue the bass thing right there and I can keep that going during the during the verses and stuff too if I want so that's kind of a cool example now this next sound I did not actually program this was made by um, Malcolm at enjoythesirens.com uh, he makes some really great recreations of classic synth sounds from all different genres and different eras of music and I heard this example on his website and I emailed him and said how can I buy this from you because this is so good this is his uh, version of the Shine On You patch. And what's kind of cool is uh, he uses economy of motion and, and has it all layered down here. So we just press this G chord and bring up the volume. It's got the glass in there, it's got the organ, the pad, We've got the uh, little, little sound effect there. interesting the way the patch is programmed is the bass note the low G is actually not on the G it's actually on the B flat and that's one cool thing you can do with the Kurzweil is it's got a chord function where you can create chords out of a single note just by assigning what you want the chord to do yes so the the bass note on this one is actually on the B flat and what's cool is that when you switch to the C Continue to hold down that G. It's economy of motion, so you don't have to move your hand very much, right? And same thing with the G, or the D rather. It moves the bass note to, to the A. That way you're never playing the bass note, even though you're playing a uh, first inversion chord. It's a third inversion chord, another third inversion, but you're not playing the bass note on the lowest note like you think you would. It's really smart programming on, on Malcolm's part. And I took that same idea um, by taking apart that patch and figuring out how it worked. I, I used that same idea on this patch for the Thin Ice, where we needed to have the piano, but we also needed to have that, that uh, arp chord. So the great thing about the Kurzweil, of course, is you can, you can split the multis in 16 different parts, but every part, every program, which is the single voice mode of the Kurzweil, can have up to 32 layers of anything you want. So they can be oscillators, effects, filters, whatever you want. You have up to 32 layers split across the keyboard, or layered, or triggered, or whatever. And then you can load those into a multi and have 16 of those piled on top of each other. So you can literally do anything you want and have, it has a, you know, two continuous controller inputs, three uh, sustain pedal inputs, so you can do switching. You can assign any of the buttons to anything you want, any of the sliders to anything you want. Um, so you basically can do whatever you want. And even when it comes to organ, one last one. This is the sound for pigs. So I'm using the KB3 engine, but I have it going through a separate set of outputs into the real Leslie. And that way I can play them together. And that way 
I can bring in the strings with the sustain pedal. <laughs> do the harmony on one keyboard if I wanted to, but I, I kind of like getting my Rick Wakeman on and, and I just need a cape, that's all I need. <laughs> so that's a little bit about the rig and um, the Kurzweil has just been a blessing for this gig. There's so much more that I haven't showed that it does. I'm, I'm triggering multiple samples per tune, using some vo vocal sounds to augment our background vocals, using some guitar sounds to augment the guitar you know, players in the band. Um, you can basically do whatever you want with it, it's awesome. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.